everybody, it's Stephanie and Briley. And this week we're going to be showing you guys how to make an easy scrap metal sheet cart for your home garage. That way you guys can get rid of all this clutter. That's right. I know some of you at home probably have the same problem that I have in my small tiny space garage. Um, and that is not knowing or having an area to kind of store all those pieces of drop material, scrap and sheet metal. Um, our needs might not be your needs, so you might want to adjust the uh, thickness or the size of the cart uh, to, to handle whatever it is at home that you're going to be storing in it. Um, for us, we're using 14 gauge steel, some uh, one and a half inch square tubing, uh, one inch square tubing, uh, one inch angle, and some round rod for this build. Um, so let's get started. So to get started, you're going to grab your two 48 inch lengths, your two 28 inch lengths, and your one 45 inch length. Yep, and then you're gonna also wanna have on standby that 28 by 48 inch uh, piece of 14 gauge steel for the top. So what this is, this is gonna be our base of our cart. So the two long lengths here are gonna be our sides, and then we're gonna have our width there with the 28 inch, and then that 45 inch piece is going to be our center support. Uh, you're also gonna to wanna to grab you know, your square, maybe some magnets to help make sure everything is nice and true, a tape measure, make sure nothing is racked. Um, and then basically we're gonna tack it up and weld it out. welding out the base frame. Um, I wanted to smooth out the profile of the top side welds that way our piece of sheet for the top is going to lay on there nice and smooth and then I also took the liberty of just cleaning up the corners rounding them off nicely um, so that it just looks nice from the outside when uh, we paint it up. So our piece of sheet metal fits on the frame really nicely. What I'm gonna do now is we're just gonna stitch weld around the perimeter. And the corners of the sheet metal are still sharp, so before you go on to the next step, after you've, you've welded the perimeter up a little bit, you do wanna just round off those because those will be a shin buster uh, down the road. So make sure you do take care of those sharp corners. sheet metal rails. So for these rails at home, if you have a bender, you can do this in one piece. I do not. So we're using our one inch by one inch square tubing. I got one length cut at four foot, two at three foot, another at 30 inches, and two at 20 inches. Again, the cut list is down in the details below. Um, and then we put 45 miters on them. We're going to weld them out and then set them in place on our base. complete finished it off with cleaning up the corners all but one because I wanted to tape this one because I think that it's a good reminder of how far I've come in welding yeah so we saved that one and then we'll be able to look at it years down the road and and see just how far she's come um, so for the main rail that's gonna go kind of through the center we marked that at 11 and a quarter to the center of these one inch by one inch square tubing. And then here we did nine and a half inches in from each corner so that this lower rail will set on the outside. Um, again, you can manipulate the, the spacing of how much sheet metal you think you're gonna hold and open that up, but I wanted to save enough on the one side so that I could have a big enough scrap bin and a drop bin. The 
sheet metal rails are welded into our cart now. We have that all sectioned off. Now it's time to bring in some of those sheet metal pieces that we had cut and the angle in order to make our scrap in and our longer length thin. Um, for me, my scrap in is going to be a little bit bigger than the drop in um, just because I have more scrap um, than drops at a lot of times. So that's what's going to work best for me. But at home, feel free to move those around and, and, and pick a size that works for you. Um, we have some angle here to just help with reinforcing the corners and stuff of our sheet metal. So as we build ours, um, it should be nice and secure. Now our first wall of our bins we're ready to put on. We have them secure here. Uh, these are gonna be some vertical welds. So I think I might tackle these ones and have Riley watch and then maybe later towards the end she'll, she'll try her, her hand at doing some vertical, some vertical welds. All right, so the rear wall of our scrap bin is nice and secure. Now we're gonna build the sides Simple trick is to take that one inch angle and put it on either side of those 16 by 16 pieces of sheet metal. That way when you use it to set it up, you have something to actually use as a, you know, a, a piece to, to clamp down and then actually get them welded in nicely. That way you're not fighting with magnets and stuff. The scrap bin is completed. Now we're going to put together the grid for the longer lengths of scrap. Yeah, so this is where those 30 inch uh, pieces of one by one angle is gonna come into play. What we're gonna do is we're gonna secure uh, each piece into all four corners, making sure they're square. And then we're gonna set that round rod in between to complete the grid so that the drop lengths, they kind of stack in there nicely. They're not gonna get crossed up inside of each other and be a pain in the butt to pull out later on. So we're gonna get to work. We are almost done with our scrap cart. So for this part, with laying the round rod for our divider grids, uh, we're gonna use some magnets and a level. We're gonna make sure we have them at the very top. And then we're just gonna pick a point somewhere along the middle um, and then set the second grid there. Our scrap metal cart is complete. It feels awesome to get all this clutter out of the corner and organize a little bit. We'll be certainly put this to good use. Brian, what did you think about this build? Well, I personally thought that it was really cool to weld in different like positions and different joints. And I thought that it was just really cool learning how it felt to like do a bigger build. Yeah, so uh, this is Briley's biggest build to date. She did an awesome job. She learned how to do things that uh, she didn't even think she was capable of doing just yet. Uh, she even got her hand at some overhead welds a couple of times, so that was really exciting. Um, so we're looking forward to doing some more in the future. See ya, bye. bye.